Okay, finally, we have um, done the budget and we're ready to look at budgets, budget versus actual. So uh, we're gonna get to this report right here. Uh, it's gonna be actual budget and difference. And we're gonna do that for item. And actually the item we're gonna use is the INECTA coffee mug. And so we're gonna get something like 700 sold. The budget was 1000 and the difference is 300. Um, so we're below 300, uh, 300 below budget on these sales. And so we're gonna use the sales analysis reports to do this, pull in the budget that we did and remember, we actually do have dimensions in here. So we have the customer group, you know, small, region, northeast, uh, etc. So, so let's take a look at that. So now that we have the sales budgets in, or sort of, um, we want to go into finance and go into sales analysis reports. And I'm going to create a new one here and just kind of play with how this uh, this report gets built. Um, so I'll just create a coffee mug sales analysis. And our, our goal here is basically to um, have actual versus budget. How well are we doing? Uh, or forecast if you prefer that. So we'll do a coffee mug sales analysis. And there is a line template here, uh, analysis line template. And let's take a look at what that is. So if I go in here, uh, just create a new one, call it coffee mug um, sales analysis line template. I'll do LT, salt, right? <laughs> sales analysis line template. All right, coffee mug sales uh, line template. If I take a look at the line here, lines, so I get these rows. Um, and this is basically asking for like, how do you want to display the data that you're looking at? Um, <clears throat> it's sort of like account schedules. You can create your own uh, row template um, that you're looking at. And that can be, uh, each row can actually have an item or item group, customer, custom group, uh, salesperson, etc. So I think we should spend some time with this, um, really understanding this, um, this scenario and making something nice. But in the beginning, just for this video, I'm just going to create a one line in here. Say that's my uh, Enacta coffee mug, because that's the only thing I have a data for right now. Uh, and it's an item, last time I checked. And uh, I'll just pick it in the list of items. And that's it. So as you can see here, we have a lot of options and we'll get into this formatting in a bit. But right now I'm just gonna pick the Enacta Coffee Mug, leave it very simple. And then we'll just close it out here. Um, and just hit okay. And then we have an analysis column template name. So this is the line, these are the rows, and these are the columns. So I have created here a budget versus actual, but I'm gonna just go ahead and create again. Um, so it's coffee mug budget, a little different. Coffee mug budget versus actual. And let's go ahead and take a look at the columns. If you worked with analysis views, I'm sorry, if you worked with account schedules, and even analysis views. This is really form familiar to you. This is almost the identical structure of account schedules. So I'm gonna go ahead and say here, we have the net change. And I'm gonna look at the item entries. Uh, and it's not net change of item entries. The value type here is gonna be important. So. Normally in account schedules, you have just amounts. However, here you have quantity as well. So I am going to check on quantity because that's how we did the budget. We budgeted on quantity. And then I'll do here the budget. 
Um, and that's also not change, but it's going to be item budget entries. And hopefully that'll work out for us. Uh, and that's also quantity. Uh, that's it. And then we'll just, we can just do a difference. And that will be a formula. And the formula will be uh, budget minus that change. Uh, and that's, that's just probably not any value type. So we'll just close that out. I have the coffee mug budget. And now we have this done. So we'll just go out of this. And uh, now we can hit edit analysis view or analysis report, sales analysis. Uh, I'm just going to do this slowly here. <laughs> we went back to the uh, sales analysis screen and went into edit analysis report, just like that. And then I get a very similar screen to the analysis views where I can set up, you know, view by um, any filtering that I have, etc. And I'm looking at the coffee mug sales analysis and the coffee mug budget and just hit show matrix. And now I have that the net change is 899 so far. The budget is 5,750. The difference is 4,851. So this is on the total year, if I if I am looking at this correctly. So at least we got the uh, net change budget and difference. So let's uh, move on from that on the next video.